Fit like Abdi, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Aquarium. Now, sadly, this may be the last ever episode of Mega Aquarium, but never say never. Uh, unfortunately, it's just become uh, too difficult to sort of build the ultimate aquarium. Now, it looks really nice here until you click on this. And we've got major, major issues. Uh, after building this, I assigned some staff. Uh, all went totally disastrous. At one point, I pulled some staff away from some other areas that I thought were going to do okay. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Most of the Goliath groupers in here are probably a way to die. At one point, I had 94 autopsy reports and it had a knock-on effect everything is going to hell in a handbasket now the problem is very simple staff now I've tried to manage the staff <coughs> as sort of best I could now the east tunnel tank and east corridor one they do fine with two so do the entrance to the mini tanks but the lagoon shop needs a lot that was partly my bad because I put so many fish in and it was like ridiculously huge with a ridiculous uh, ridiculous amount of fish. Most of them do feeding. We've got some decent fixers in there as well but we need them. Now the problem is fixing and feeding are the main two. Gift shop, talking and cleaning are sort of okay. We don't really worry about them but I sent Two, so we've got one really good feeder here at Atlantis Corner and two sort of people who are sort of okay at fixing but it's just too overwhelming for the staff. Uh, it did actually give me... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it did actually give me one extra person near the end and that was this person, uh, Ulrika. Now... It had a knock-on effect. Most of the pro almost everything in here died, except from the ones in this tank. They none of them died, which was weird. And there was no one fixing it. There was just someone feeding. And then most of the things in here died. All the groupers, every single one of them died. Every single one of the angel sharks died, and they died from this uh, temperature, because there's not enough staff to go around fixing uh, things. And then the same knock-on effect here. Uh, this place actually does okay. Nothing died on here. It seems that I've got just enough people so that just when it comes to something dying, they, someone comes and saves the day. But we've got stuff like I've prioritized or did prioritize these. Uh, but no one seems to go and fix them. Uh, also, water temperature is bad. Now, I pointed out something in the last episode. And it was this. If water temperature is bad, you delete the piece of equipment. And... if voila. Excellent. That piece of equipment now works now. It doesn't need maintenance. The game is paused. It didn't affect the fish in the slightest. I spent the good part of about four hours deleting everything that was broken and adding it. Uh, just so the staff would have more of a chance because they were already in their areas. One of the downfall of this area was I assigned staff to it, but it took them an age to walk wherever they were previously working to get there. And some things actually died before all the staff got there. So that took an age, uh, took ages. Now I could play on, but it would mean like recording for 50 minutes, having to pause the game and taking another hour or two to replace all the equipment that's broken just to keep everything alive. Now the issue went from being feeding, from fish dying of not being fed, to water temperature being too high, uh, water uh, quality being too low, and it was just, it was a nightmare. 94 autopsy reports, I replaced every fish. Within 10 minutes of replacing every fish I had 47 autopsy reports, and it was all fish that had been eaten by other fish because they were now back at like being their sort of young sort of state, the minimum size that they are. 
and lots of other things that had grown that hadn't died were then able to eat them. Case in point here, uh, as you can see, most of them are still alive. Some of these scalloped hammerhead sharks died, two of them. I added two more, they got eaten. They actually got eaten by nurse sharks, which were strange. Uh, no, not nurse sharks, the lemon sharks. One of the thresher sharks died, I added it in. It got eaten by a... It was actually eaten by a hammerhead shark. Uh, the nurse shark, I think both of them are dead now. I can't actually see it. I think there's one alive in here somewhere. I think one lived, but the other one died. Uh, let's click on it. No, there is a nurse shark. Where are you, buddy? You're in the corner here, somewhere. It is sort of near death. So there were two. One of them died when I added it in. It just kept on being eaten. Uh, because there's not enough food in here for everything. And it's, <laughs> it sucks. There it is there. It's, 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 it looks quite huge. But the other one died and when I added in the new one, it just kept on being eaten. Uh, same with over here. And uh, not this one. Cause water temperatures too high. See, we need someone to fix this. They're also all pretty much starving because everything is broken. Let's prioritize that. Now that is that's just that's basically it. That is the case. Autopsy report: Potato grouper died. A cuckoo wrasse died. Those were two that died just before I started recording. So. That was it. It was a complete nightmare. I reverted back to this, uh, an older save, rebuilt some stuff, tried to shuffle the stuff around again, but it was just impossible. And if I was to do another episode, I was going to do the main tank with the, the whale shark and things, but there'd be no point. As soon as I push play again, I'd have no stuff to work there. Everything would just die unfortunately and it's a complete nightmare trying to get everything re-established in the one thing i did notice is if things start dying you simply delete the things that are eating them and put them back into the tank at their sort of starting size and then they can no longer eat anything anymore now this is weird because i've, pri I've prioritized these ah okay right because there's no steps there so these things are probably going to die. Some of them will get fed once this is fixed. But the problem is as well, everyone's such a low level. Uh, even if I got them to level 10, I think they would still struggle. At level 10 and level 10 with feeding. Now I noticed something as well that Jamelia here, there she is. Uh, she does feeding, but there's someone else who does feeding and they're also supposed to do fixing uh, if they have autopsy report <coughs> excuse me goliath grouper so the first one is dead <coughs> some of the things i've replaced are actually okay these japanese wobbegongs i replaced some of them and they started being eaten uh, that one died that's i'm not gonna replace any of the others right now they're starting to fix this so these things might actually live wow uh, 24 of 209 well they'll be up to 124 in a second the one potato grouper still needs to be fed there we go we'll be up to 224 right they will live once more olive has leveled up now like I said previously, never say never. Now there was a mod that uh, increases everybody's sort of movement speed and learning speed to their max levels. Stupidly I didn't install that or I was if staffing became an issue I was going to install it. But you need to do that right at the start before you even start the aquarium the mod has to be active same with there's one that 
Put everybody's skill up to level 10. So they're level 10 and everything. Talking, cleaning, uh, feeding, fixing, gift shop. They are all level 10 and you can just assign them to do as you wish. Uh, unfortunately, that one also needs to be uh, installed right at the start, before you even start. So everything seems to be running smoothly. Now, nothing is dying. Although most of the things that died, I didn't bother replacing them because there was no point. Uh, they would just get eaten and stuff. Now we only had probably one, two, three, four, five, five more sort of exhibit areas to go. Now even though I'm sort of calling it quits just now, uh, until I can find a resolution, the only thing I can think of at the moment is restarting and rebuilding the whole aquarium, which is what's well, it's a daunting thought, it would take me some time. Uh, my only saving grace is hopefully someone will install a mod or add a mod to the Steam Workshop that removes all breakdowns completely. Now, in my opinion, that should we get unlimited money. Uh, no breakdowns should have been one of the things when you are selecting your custom sort of map, etc. Right, these things are all growing. Excellent, so nothing is dying again. But again, even though things look to start to be getting better, I mean, there's still some things near death here. Cause hunger. Uh, let's try and prioritize the feeding for this. But if I go and build something else, I then need to take stuff away from another area. Now some of the feeders here at the lagoon tank are pretty decent, but as soon as I remove them, uh, things start to die, things start going wrong over here. Now as you can see there's a lot of things to fix or maintain around here for the large lagoon tank, and the two fixers here can keep up with it, mostly. Water quality rarely goes down, either does water temperature, and the feeders are getting the job done. Kinda. I mean, the rest of this is all specialist feeding. Yep, specialist, specialist. The feeders are level 10, so they they do stuff really quick. Like, here is... Oh, no, you're a newbie. So you'll be slow. I would imagine. Uh, where is... Toggle tank capacity, no. Toggle points, toggle gas needs. Now this should show me a bar. Oh no, the bar is there. Right, so she is actually feeding some of them. We've made it important, but if I start removing them, uh, all hell breaks loose. See, you are starting to level up. Uh, fixing, there we go. Gabri leveled up in fixing. Now everything, these two cope perfectly. Uh, they're in perfect sync, feeding and fixing. Even the Cressel tank area has started to get better because the staff are leveling up. But I need to keep all the staff there. Even here, things are good. Uh, the fixers manage to do everything they need to, but I need four or five people here. And here is actually okay, it's sort of a hit or miss. And I'm going to prioritize that because we are still getting slender seahorses sort of dying all over the place, which is kind of dumb. But yes, maybe in time, if all of them are level 10, I could move them on to other areas. My greatest shock was when things here started dying because this area was completely fine. But then I realized that I had to add these to this tank to get the thresher sharks to grow and they just couldn't cope. Other exhibits started suffering. It was a real nightmare. Uh, but they are seem to be coping now that I've added one of their staff members back. So there's four of them now. I tried to run it with three. It was a it was a disaster. This one runs with two. Uh, I, this one is running with three. I had it previously running with two, 
but two was simply not enough. And the kill zone is well named because lots of things died in here. Okay, the bamboo sharks are dead because they were eaten by Mori eels. There you go, there's the problem. Now every single one of those is dead. Goliath groupers are starting to grow. But it's a shame. And now something is at risk here. Let's have you up the tempo and them. So the auto feeders are great. The fact that they break down, uh, not so great. And this is actually on an easy, the easiest setting where breakdowns are less frequent and uh, fish deaths are sort of more forgiving. They'll take a lot more punishment and neglect before actually dying. So, unfortunately, that is it. Now, I was looking forward. In this, in this episode, we're supposed to be getting the whale sharks and stuff in. Now, I could probably still do that but there's no point. I will wait or I'll try and level staff up. The problem is it takes a long time to do that. Uh, as you can see, things like the bamboo shark are now extinct. We can't now put them back in here. They just continuously be eaten. I think all but one bonnet head shark. No, they're still good. But the mori eels can now eat the grouper because it's not growing yet, because it needed fed, uh, and they can now eat the bonnet head shark, so if you don't keep them fed, they will absolutely eat everything. Only the Japanese Wobbegong shark is safe at the moment. Now some of these have grown, they are extremely large, which is cool, and I would have loved to have seen them at full growth, but it's just, it's a nightmare. Oh look, see, cause hunger. So we need more staff. Staff was the issue. Now it's it. This is what happens. Every now and again, it gives me a staff member. And it gives me a staff member with level 3 fixing. Which is extremely weird. I think the game realizes, like this one was fixing level 2. This one was fixing. Uh, this one here was also fixing. So that's strange, it started to give me more sort of fixing staff. Now let's add Fred down there, the problem is they're few and far between. If there was a mod pack that gave me like 50 extra staff members, then fine, I would take the time to level them up and sort of extinguish some of the problems we've gotten, but they're just they're few and far between. Give me another one. Ah, oh, no, that sucks. So, like I said, never say never. I'll keep an eye on the Steam Workshop. Uh, I may rework the aquarium again and sort of do it better. It's just, uh, it's, it's a lot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Autopsy report. Angel sharks are dying. All those things that are growing are things I added because of death. Angel shark is dead. I'm not going to replace it. If I leave it dead, it may give some of the shark, the other sharks in there a better fighting chance. Now there is someone repairing this. But there you have it. There is the issue. Now they're repairing that, the two of them. But they're going to have to do this and that. Water temperature will become too high. They'll start dying again. Things are dying over here because of hunger. Now you eat cockles. There are cockles down there. We've prioritized cockles. But no one's feeding them cockles. It's probably because the this these boxes probably run out before... Now, I think, if I push pause, delete that. Now, I don't think all the animals in here need specialist feeding for cockles. 
I think it's only the the rotfish. There we go. Spotted ratfish was the only one. So that could have alleviated that issue. But then again, it's another machine that needs fixed by staff that I don't have. Right, these things should no longer be hungry. Common cuttlefish is near death because it needs sand eels. Sand eels are coming in though. Let's prioritize someone to fix that. But there you have it. There is the issue. Now I am upset slightly. I really enjoy playing this game. It's quite beautiful with the corals and the scenery. It's a very colourful game. I uh, would have loved to have seen everything grow and everything just sort of work. But alas, it's, uh, it's just too much at the moment. And I have to spend hours and hours and hours in between recording. Uh, time that I need to actually do other things to sort of try and fix it or try out new ways and I've tried out various different ways I just can't seem to get it to work unfortunately and hopefully they'll get fed nope wasn't enough common cuttlefish needs more but there you have it I am truly sorry for you you guys that did watch this uh, but don't worry it may come back it just depends if I can find a solution or someone uploads a mod that resolves all my problems, then it shall return. Because I've downloaded lots of mods for this and lots of cool fish and jellyfish, sharks, that we sort of can't use because it's supposed to be a mega aquarium. Staff should be unlimited. But there you have it. So I do apologize, but that has been it for this this may be the last episode it may not be i'm hoping it's not but anyway if you've got any suggestions or if you know of any mods or anything for this game that could sort of help this i think most of them are on the steam workshop uh, i have i look every day i look in fact twice a day when i get up in the morning before i go to sleep because this is an issue the maintenance that has been plaguing me for a while but that is going to be it i do apologize again we may come back in the future but that's been it for me uh, i've been danny boy if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like comment or dislike please feel free to do so and if there's more you'd like to see in the future then hit that subscribe button but that's been it for mega aquarium until a later date and i will catch us later wait what is this See, things are starting to grow now. But still, I can't pull off more staff members. To other places. Like, let's get you leveled up in fixing. And you up in fixing. Right, there you have it. Two more people leveled up at the end. But I will catch you later.